time gates. This is going to be a video. So, to begin, there are two types of time gates. One is natural. Two is uh, self-selected, uh, let's say. That's a good word. So the natural time gates. Natural time gates will happen, I believe, every three weeks. And you can tell whenever you normally hover over this, this button right here, it'll say count down until time gate begins. Once it's begun, at the moment, there's no real tooltip. The, the other one, uh, self-imposed, is when you have six time gate pieces here, you can start it up. That's the quick gist of it. Uh, the other thing is you can't start an artificial. Let's let's go with artificial too, or a self-imposed. I like artificial better now. Artificial time gate uh, within three days of a natural time gate because they last three days. So you've clicked the button, you've seen the stuff, and you're like, okay, what's going on? Well, who are these people? Well, your selection is generally dictated by which event champions you do not have. So for me, right now, I do not have Stokey, and I do not have Kron. I do have Evelyn. This is part of a mechanic, and I say part, part of a mechanic to help you improve the gear of event champions, or also unlock event champions, even if it's not that time of year. This is awesome, because some event champions fall to the wayside eventually as the ever onsetting power creep of the core champions or the evergreen champions because they can get gear from silvers and normal golds which these cannot they need their own specific specific chest or a chest from a weekend buff so i will pick stokey open the gate yes whatever that warning said i want stokey so this button here, close gate early, is an option that you can do if you want to, like say you didn't like the uh, options you were given, you can close the gate and you'll be given uh, time gate pieces for ho however many components you didn't do. Now, I believe if you, if you close a gate for a champion you don't have, you should get three. But if you close a gate for a champion you, you already have, you, you will only get two. It's like a, it's like a 50 50 percent on my knowledge in that call. Worst case scenario, you waste three weeks of a natural time gate, finding out the hard way. This is only the second time gate that's ever happened, so uh, knowledge is a little. Eh. Anyway, so we've selected the time gate, and we're like, okay, now what? Well, you gotta exit your adventure because we're essentially gonna be doing an event. So while this goes through the thing, the important, some other important information about time gates is uh, whenever it's done, you'll be asked to reset your favor almost instantly. Oh, you know what? What champions do you pick? That's kind of a daunting question, right? Like who's to say who's better than the other? Now, as it stands for this video, this will help you for a vast majority of the event champions as of uh june 20th 2018 no july july uh so let me real quick go back here unclick that and unclick this so from top to bottom the champions that you will want to unlock and if you have two of these like close to each other it's kind of a close call so like say you have a barwin next to a deacon that's a tough call on who's better and you're really kind of like splitting hairs at some point and i cr tried to group these up as close to each other as possible so top is the best bottom is the worst so in order of unlock by my personal opinion Berwin, deacon strix binwin birdsong regis evelyn or I'm sorry evelyn stokey Cadibri, zorbu daddyus grama narak and Krond. Now, most of these champions are selected for their ability to uh, buff the party. There are a few, being Strix and Binwin, who are, and kind of Birdsong, who are pretty good uh, main DPSs. Back to here. So, now that we've established who you might want to pick, depending on 
who you don't have, if that's your goal, uh, if you already have everyone, then you probably know who you want to buff up anyway, and then you just follow the same thing, because it's in terms of usefulness. Uh, if you select a time gate for a champion that you already have, then you're just uh, awarding yourself an opportunity to get two gold chests for that champion uh, in particular. No matter who you pick, you're going to have that favor, so that's going to help uh, convert your uh, your gold into uh, more favor. Or, you know, gold to event favor to campaign favor. So, time gate. Stokey. I'm I'm excited. And, like We got like like pumpkins and leaves and stuff. Okay, let's play. So along with this uh, with this option is you know you get to play the event in which un in in which this champion that you've selected was unlocked in. Kind of cool. So I'm gonna do my normal little uh, setup thing. Oh god, that's right. I have no gold. <laughs> uh, so. That's a, I, I honestly forgot. You start off at no favor, just like a normal event. So, oh, geez, it's rough. And then you get to see the, oh God, unity. You get to see the event formation, uh, which is historically accurate uh, for what you need to figure out for uh, pushing as far as you can, right? Uh, then this kind of goes back into formation mm, creation. And I couldn't think of a not rhyme. Wow, and this art is neat. So you're going to play through the first level. At 50, you'll unlock the champion. Cool. And uh, from there, you can either use them instantly by, you know, uh, completing the adventure and going for the free plays, or you can just push to your wall. Now, does, does that matter? In this particular instance, no. And it's also super beneficial to not linger... Uh, until you reach your like absolute wall across like what would you figure for any campaign not just for that run because all of the free plays for time gate events are free so there's no reason to like once you hit a wall to just stop uh look at this and see what kind of favor you're gaining if it's like plus a thousand percent you might want to restart and try again that kind of idea because normally in events, you have to wait till 2,500, so it's it's a resource management thing. But here, just do it as much as you can. You only have three days, and uh, to you, you only have three days to gain as much favor as you can. Now, an important um, aspect of time gates is the conversion of uh, time gate event favor. It's not like the, the conversion of a normal event favor. First off, once you close the time gate or the time gate closes on its own, you instantly, instantly have to pick a, a favor to convert to. There's no waiting and farming for extra. And uh, secondly, it's not to the traditional ratio. So generally, uh, E1 favor is 10%. E2 20%. If you watch this of the, the event video, this is already familiar. E10 is 100%, or 1E10 is 100% conversion in events. For time gate events, it's a fourth. So if, if you would normally, if you have 1E10 uh, Mistra's favor, you will get a 25% uh, conversion boost to whichever uh, option you select. I really think that's pretty much it about uh, events or, or time time gates. These are uh, a new thing. It's part of a mechanic to help uh, increase the power of event champions. They've said that they're thinking about more because uh, the, they want to revamp the shop. So maybe in the future we'll see uh, a pseudo shop that you can like buy some chests for the event that you've unlocked You've unlocked with the time gate. That's a whole craziness that'll probably get get its own video and kind of like maybe like a content update video. That's not a bad idea actually, because event like I, right now I have a backlog, but eventually I'm gonna catch up and then what do I do? So it might be content updates. Not a bad idea. So let's see. We covered this. 
We got the time gate pieces. Oh, okay. So time gate pieces. Time gate pieces uh, are dropped from the boss bags that also drop gems. Now, when you get them is sometime, let's say every five days. The exact math is kind of like the, the jury's out. It's it, it is a range of days. At first, we were hearing three, then we were here three to five, and then five to six. So it's going to take a while, probably roughly a month, to get your own time gate pieces to artificially make one. Uh, but once you, you, you do find them, you can just hold on to them as long as you want. So eventually, this will be 5 of 6. It could be 30 of 6. You can just do events back to back to back to back and do, and do crazy uh, event boosts to really push your, like, uh, your, your, your highest favor of whatever you want to do. Um, but... That aspect of it dropping, of those pieces dropping from bosses is very important because that plays into a factor of offline, uh, offline gold gain. Now, as it stands right now, offline gold gain is pretty much broken and worthless. By worthless, I mean it's about 30 minutes of online play and then it's capped out and doesn't do anything else. Not really helpful. Uh, but... To add on to the not helpfulness, you can't offline gold gain a time gate piece as it's coded right now. That might change in the future. Content update video, you, you'll know the drill. But if you want these, these opportunities to unlock these champions, you have to leave the game open. And you should be doing that anyway. Once it gets fixed, then it's kind of like, eh. But uh, time will tell what's really worth it for like you know a cost-benefit analysis. Uh, let's see. A quick thought. Actually, you know what? I can pause. It's not, it's not paused. Uh, what? Um, uh, uh, pause. Okay, I thought of something. So, in regard to the formations, eventually, possibly now, depending on when you're watching this, uh, there will be videos for each respective event and what would be optimal formations given, let's say, core champions and maybe some playability there. Uh, it won't be exhaustive, but it'll definitely set you on the right path for success, and if you want to get creative uh, afterwards, then that's on you. So, that is it for the Time Gates video. Uh, I thought it was a little harder to explain. Maybe I did actually a terrible job. We'll find out. I need your guys' feedback, so leave comments, message me on the official Discord. Help me help you. Take care, guys, and good luck.